Hi, my name is Barry Crompton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Evoque, then I'll take you for a ride in it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Range Rover Evoque 2 litre TD4 SE Tech Automatic four wheel drive. 2016 on a 16 plate, has done 42,044 miles. Two registered owners from new, fuel economy, urban 39.2 miles per gallon, Exurban 53.3 miles per gallon and combined is 55.3 miles per gallon. 0 to 60 time is 8 seconds. Top speed of 121 miles per hour out of 178 brake horsepower, 4 cylinder 16 valve engine. 6 month road tax is £82.50 and 12 months is 150 It was first registered on the 31st of the 3rd 2016 and it's MOT'd until the 18th of the 8th 2020 but we'll get it done again. So we've got uh, Xenons on the front, the front parking sensors underneath the bumper there, the black grille, uh, the aluminium Range Rover badge, multi-spoke alloys, you've got these black insets on the wing and the front of the door there, black A-pillars, and then the plastic um, wheel arch protectors, and also down here, the sill protectors and, and the bottom of the door stop uh, gravel rash at the bottom there. Rear privacy glass. The rear wash wipe is hidden up under the integrated tailgate spoiler. Plenty of room in the back. Split folding rear seats. Um, a hard load cover there. Nice flat load area. And you've got reversing sensors in the rear bumper and also here the twin exhaust tips. Plenty of room in the back here, nice black leather seats. We've got a rear centre armrest with cup holders here and then a little place to put your phone or whatever. Isofix rear chassis tanker points. Got airbags there, airbags in the C pillar and airbags in the D pillar. Magazine nets at the back here and uh, two speakers in the door, rear privacy glass and the contrast stitching on the uh, the doors and seats really really nice um, it, it, this is a lovely car we've also got the uh, carpet over mats there I'll just take you for riding it Range Rover key there it's uh, keyless go foot on the brake and uh, we'll just start and you've got to find somewhere to put that. Put it in there for the, for the time being. Um, this car is just about to be serviced again. And it was serviced, let me see. 18th of 7, 2018, 24,722 miles. And that was done at uh, Lancaster Land Rover Slough. Just take you for a ride. <laughs> it's been a bit of a hectic day today. <laughs> While I was videoing this car, <clears throat> young lady uh, walking a dog. Dog got off the lead, running the road. A child carried on on his bike, so she was uh, undecided as which to chase. And uh, the, the little dog thought it was a. Uh, a game and was wouldn't come back to her. I've been there many times myself when I uh, had my dog. So uh, we rounded it up. Now back to the test drive. A day in the life of a car salesman. So second Range Rover Evoque we've got. This is a 16 plate. Uh, finished in what is probably still Stornoway Grey. They may have changed the name, I don't know black leather, we've got sat nav, Bluetooth audio streaming, height and reach adjustable multifunction steering wheel with the paddle shift and the selector that comes out of the gear tunnel when you start up. That's the, uh, just press the screen there, that's, that's your sat nav. We've got cruise control on the right hand side here. 
that sounds like that is vibrating that camera mount hopefully the mic won't pick it up Nice acceleration there. No wheel wobbles or anything. The uh, brushed aluminium finish to the dash, the insets there and matching on the steering wheel. The contrast stitching on the door cards, brushed aluminium on the gear tunnel and around the gear selector. Really nice fin finished uh, Range Rovers, Land Rovers. Oh dear me. I'm not sure whether this is a traffic jam or a blockade. I can't help thinking this old lady is uh, perhaps in the uh, wrong lane. Dear, she wasn't that old. <laughs> if you're watching this video, sorry about that. So anyway, Range Rover, electric seats. There we go. We're just on green, so I can't show you the height and reach adjustable steering wheel. Multi-spoke alloy wheels, halogen headlamps. Heated front screen, got heated seats here. That's the, the switch for them. Heated screen is there, which is a, a great accessory, I always say. And uh, sadly, this hasn't got a heated steering wheel, which is my uh, favourite accessory. We've got power folding door mirrors there, electrically operated. I'll just test them, make sure they're working. That one is, yep, that one's working too. Electric window switches. Your global central locking and unlocking there. Really good looking car, the Evoke. Cruise control just on the right hand side there, and that's cancel there. You've got voice activation there, and your, your telephone uh, answer and, and dink. <laughs> 70 miles an hour there, switch the cruise on. Just make sure we're in top there. That says D9, so it's a nine speed gearbox. <laughs> Which uh, you can imagine if you had, if if it was a manual and you you got to change gear nine times before you got to seventy or whatever. So re really smooth, nice and quiet. Seventy miles an hour, fifteen hundred revs. Here in the centre there, you've got driver assistance, vehicle information, vehicle settings, display settings. 
I can click on display settings there. Digital speedometer in the centre, so if I click OK there, you can see we've got 70 miles per hour at the top there, and you can also change it from miles per hour, miles per hour, miles per hour to kilometres. Cruise control still operating there. Just drop into this inside lane. Indicators are on the left there, wipers on the right. Uh, it's a real good sound system. Let me just see my phone's there. Let me just see if it's still playing. Yep. There you go, you've got uh, audio off there. Let me just turn it back on. And if you click, it's showing source there at the moment. Source, so if you click, click source, you then can change between DAB radio, FM radio, AM, and Bluetooth. Bluetooth, oops, Mars bar fingers, Bluetooth audio, and also auxiliary. The aux in and USB is in the uh, armrest. Uh, that's Florence and the machine playing now, so let's just. Uh, my iPhone isn't turned up, otherwise it would uh, blast out. I, I changed the audio settings before and brought the bass up and a bit of treble. And it sounds fantastic. Just check and see. Quite a lot of times people leave the sunglasses in there, which reminds me, whoever nicked my Oakley Two-Face Ferrari Scuderia Special Editions out of our office. We're going to switch the lights off and you can come and put them back and we won't say any more. Gordon Bennett is some... This, this roundabout, honestly. I don't know why I come this way. <laughs> Whoever designed the roundabout in the first place, oh, I'm going to stop. I'm not going to go through. Whoever designed the roundabout in the first place went shooting. It's up and down and from back there, unless you're in a four wheel drive, you, you can't see over the crest. Go. A hybrid Porsche with lime green calipers. Lovely car, nice subtle colour combination. And if you don't want subtle, we've got we've got a bright friends red one at the garage as well. And I'll let this guy go in front, so we can. Uh, it's only came in about an hour ago. This, so it's not being cleaned, and uh, just. This stretch of road is ideal for testing the kind of knuckle joints on the front when you're steering. Load the corners from side to side through these kind of S bends. Air conditioning is nice and cold. You can also change there if you click in and press across. We'll, we'll put it in sport for this. So. Just get going. Can also override with a paddle shift like so. Just uh, this bend here. Yeah. 
everything seems fine but um, the MOT is up in August I think so we'll be doing the MOT again pull over in a short while show you how to operate the sat nav how to uh, delete a mobile how to pair a mobile and uh, how to stream audio but it's uh, it's a nice car showing at the moment in the center the display there what gear I'm in the time the outside temperature Uh, the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauge they're, they're all in the all in the center there I never noticed before there's no gauges there uh, it's the uh, TFT display in the center there but, uh, as soon as we're stuck behind this chap here so display settings again let's just trip computer driver assistance we'll see what that is driver assistance AEB lane departure warning. Ah, let's just have a look at that. So we'll put lane departure warning on. Yes, I, I actually felt it there when uh, I swerved to avoid that <laughs> that runner. Same really. So there's a a little uh, icon in the top there. And it, it's uh, showing the car from the top view with uh, two broken lines on the outside. Now. Let me just see once we can see where we're going it's uh, it knows we're in a lane nothing coming now nothing behind me so if I turn over there like so it's uh, it's not happy let's just go down because the lane departure warning settings so into there normal sensitivity high sensitivity so we'll switch high sensitivity on there we go um, unfortunately I've, that's it it's uh, the the warning is now green it's, of course every, it's all faded here yeah it's when I went over the line there without indicating it uh, it turned red, but uh, as you can see the it's just oh no, it's car coming. <laughs> Might have to go up the dual carriageway. Or, or where did we go yesterday? Where they just painted the white lines? And I thought I was going to get paint all over the car. think I was mad so I won't do it take it back out of sport just go on the dual carriageway and see if uh, oh well, and also uh, there's on the the evoke I did the other day I was, I was saying about the airbags and uh, there's one in here one there one in the b pillar there's also one in the side of the seat here at the base and one under here a 
fuel levels low now. Okay. Yeah, it's gone green now. It's picked up. We're in uh, a lane, but unfortunately, uh, we're in a lane and these, these cars are overtaking us. Right, now if I... That's it now. So if I go over here without indicating, yeah, there you go. It's it's red and uh, I can feel a rumble through the steering wheel. Of course, if you indicate like a proper driver should, except if you're in Preston, then uh, everything's fine. pretty much back to where we started now so a full lap today so anyway I'll finish the video there um, crikey I, I don't know we've got a, a focus sorry Mondeo estate and uh, a Renault traffic van BMW 330 estate um, Another VW Golf diesel, a Mercedes C Class. So uh, we're, we're very busy at the moment. And uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Not sure where the expected me to go then. <laughs>